to Common Sense TV. I'm your host, the doctor of common sense. Donald Trump is going to be convicted in D.C. and maybe even in Georgia, too. They probably could get the one thrown out in Georgia, but I'm not for sure. But I know in D.C. he's going to be convicted for sure because if you see what they're doing to the January the 6th people, it's obvious that these judges are not paying attention to the law. Law don't mean anything. They're upgrading nonviolent offenders as terrorists now. If you rattled the fence uh, during January the 6th, they was upgraded to a terrorist act. How in the hell can it be a terrorist act if you rattle the fence? Also, walking into the building, if you're a grandmother 61, walking into the building to these people is the same as a terrorist act. And there's one judge. I, I was going to say looks like a terrorist. <laughs> He's a Barack Obama appointee, meta, meta something, M-E-H-T-A, whatever the heck his name is. He's hitting people like the Oath Keepers. He's hitting them with sedition, conspiracy, obstruction, uh, and uh, it's trying to stop our, uh, a conspiracy to obstruct Congress. Anything they can make up, they're just making up the law. See, if, if there was a such thing as a law... This wouldn't even go to trial. It wouldn't even be a case if it wasn't if it was a such thing as the Constitution and a law in this country because it's obvious that they're ignoring the law. Now, uh, Judge Chaka Khan, you know who I call Judge Chaka Khan, right? This is the she can't wait to get him convicted. It's obvious it's going to be a conviction in this particular court. She was comparing uh, January the sixth to nine eleven and the Boston bomber. So it's obvious. Now, the people who actually got the most violence veered on them was the protesters. Now, you notice during the George Floyd riots, they were burning up police stations. Not one single person was charged with a terrorist attack. They were turning over police cars, catching them on fire. All kind of violence is the most expensive riot in the history of this country. They were destroying pro property, police stations, you name it, burning down bu buildings, um, businesses. But nobody was charged with a terrorist attack. Nobody was hit with like sedition, conspiracy, because this was technically set up. This is why they didn't want the National Guards down there. This is why they told Donald Trump, you get the hell out of here. Don't bring us National Guard. How are we going to be able to hit you with these charges? That we were already planning on doing. See, devils are always planning to do something evil. Every time the devil is planning to do something evil. Don't you fool yourself. There ain't a such thing as justice. And if people who hate justice and law will do these type of things and hide behind pretending as if they're upholding the law. They wouldn't know the law if it bit them. All of these cases of people walk. How in the hell can walking inside the Capitol Hill be a terrorist attack? How can rattling a fence be a terrorist attack? But burning down a police station is not. See, these people have a hate for justice. They have a hate for truth. And they have a hate for God. This is what this is about. See, the Bible constantly talks about uh, people who love justice and people who hate justice. I think it's Isaiah. 1 in 17 says, learn to do well, seek judgment, relieve the oppressed, judge the fatherless, plead for the widow. Do you think that's happening in this country? I mean, are you freaking kidding me? The scriptures also say, Amos 5, 24, but let judgment run down as waters and righteousness as a mighty stream. Judgment. Right judgment. If right judgment was, if we had true judgment, how is it possible that Hunter Biden has never been indicted yet? How is it possible that we can have all this information on Joe Biden, bribes, kickbacks, all type of corruption? Now, nobody tried to impeach him. Over a phone call that Donald Trump was talking about the corruption in Ukraine, they wanted to impeach him to protect Joe Biden. The intel community has to go. 
If you're not going to get rid of the Intel community, you're going to keep having these same problems because they are the problem. Don't, 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 don't try to think you're going to play nice with the devil and you think that you're going to read Burr Rabbit. It's all you need to do. Blessed are they that keep it judgment and he that do it righteous at all times. Psalm 106 and 3. But it should hit home. If, if you read Psalm number one over and over again, you'll see what's going on right here. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly. These are ungodly people. You cannot get your counseling from ungodly people. Those who hate God, eventually, you can say they got integrity, eventually uh, the, the, the corruption is going to come out. Because they're going to think that the, 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 the end justifies the means. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of the sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. But, see, this is the but when the but is about to shift. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law do he meditate day and night. What is going to be like if you meditate on the word of God? Well, he should be like a tree. Planted by the rivers of water. Plant a tree by water and it's constantly getting the right nourishment. See, these trees that we're talking about, these fake judges, these lawyers, these senators and congressmen, they're planted in the desert. They ain't getting no water and they dry up. They're complete corrupt. It's rotten to the core. But the, the one who follows after the thing of God is like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bring it forth his fruit in his season, and his leaf also should not wither. Whatsoever he do, it shall prosper. These folks, they got to have some bad happen to them. I'm trying to tell you, let me help you out. Stop having sympathy for the devil. These people are devils, and those who support them are devils. I don't care how they try to dress it up. These, these so-called fake ankles and stuff, if they do all this stuff and we can prove that Joe Biden did this, we can prove Hunter Biden did this, we can prove they burnt down cities while CNN and Miss NBC was saying this is mostly peaceful. Fires right behind them, whole building burning up. They said this is mostly peaceful. You're not going to be able to have rational conversation with these people. You're just not. You may well come to that conclusion. They live in darkness. The light switch don't come on with them. The breaker box has been taken out. You can't turn on the lights by the light switch. They ain't got no break about it. Matter of fact, ain't no power running to the house. Complete darkness. That's who these people are. They live in darkness. And there's no need you think you're going to get light out of darkness. This is like trying to fr find fresh drinking water out of a sewage. These people are, their minds are sewages. I'm trying to. I'm trying to paint the picture for you so you can actually get it, so you can think you can stop trying to have rational conversations with these evil, evil people. Now, if I told you, just imagine this right here. You got a, you know what a 55-gallon drum looks like? Just say uh, a, a plastic 55-gallon drum. You can have a metal one if you want it. And that 55-gallon drum had some of the most vile sewage filth whatsoever in there. All kind of sewage in there. I mean, waste, you name it, it's in there. Throw a little cyanide in there, too. And you had a four-ounce glass of pure drinking water, and you pour it in there and think you're going to purify uh, this 55-gallon drum of nothing but sludge and filth. Trying to think you're going to have a rational conversation and do right by these people is like taking a four-ounce glass of pure water, pouring it in a 55-gallon drum of pure Filth and sewage. You think you're going to purify that? The FBI is the 55 gallon drum. Your intel community is the 55 gallon drum. Your senators and congressmen is the 55 gallon drum, period. You can't purify that. You got to dump that whole thing out, wash it out, purify it, clean it up. That's what has to happen to the government. These phony judges and stuff, we need to start doing something about real justice. Now, they're going to get theirs, but stop pretending like these people trying to do the right thing. They want Donald Trump locked up. If they convict him, if they could, they'll go ahead and lock him up now. But if you think you're going to get justice out of these people, and don't think you're going to be able to depend on the Supreme Court, when you get in office, you've got a clean house, no nice stuff. 
gloves off, bare brass knuckle fist fight, street brawl. These are devils that must be destroyed. You remember when uh, Joshua came through, what did the Lord tell him? Don't spare nothing up over here. Destroy everything because all it's going to do is pollute and corrupt you. The system is corrupt. You got these phony judges who are nothing but activists pretending as if they're looking for justice. They're not looking for justice. No, they're not looking for justice because if they was looking for justice, first of all, the whole Biden family would be in prison. Barack Obama could have never been the president. Hillary would be in prison. James Cummings would be in prison. Uh, Mary Garland would be in prison. Maragis would be uh, hit with uh, being a traitorous piece of trash. But that's not what's happening. You know why? Because that system is completely corrupt. Keep pouring your little four, four ounces of uh, good, uh, nice pure water in this 55-gallon drum of poison and filth. You'll get the same thing. You can't clean the FBI up. You can't clean the CIA up. None of that trash can be cleaned up. Can't clean the system up because it's completely corrupt. I've come to that conclusion. Once thought, in my naive part, I actually thought that these people cared anything about the law. They don't care about no law. They're locking up people, charging them with sedition and terrorist act because they want to be able to pin this on Donald Trump. They've been planning this. See, these devils playing stuff from long ways off. This is their long plan. That's why it says, do not bring the National Guard in here. If the National Guard coming in, we're not going to be able to do all this plan. And then what they was doing is instigating and trying to start these people to get worked up, shooting the rubber bullets at them and everything else. You don't, you, do you remember that? This is what they were doing. This was, this was done on purpose. They was opening the doors, letting people come on in here. Now we're going to hit you with sedition charge after we invited you in, gave you an escort. Come on, come on in. These people are pure evil. And so Donald Trump may be convicted. I, 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 I'm not worried because I, I know the Lord is in charge. But see, the people of God, they got to get their mind and heart right because these folks are pure evil. Stop pretending as if these people are not evil. You keep acting like they're not evil. I'm saying Republicans and Democrats, it's too many of them that's evil because the Mitt, uh, uh, the, the, what's his name, Mitch McConnell. I'm glad he froze up. Maybe the Lord is trying to take his brain. They say he may be having some seizure. I don't care what the problem is. He's a devil. He's just as big as devil as Joe Biden and the rest of that crew over there. See, you have a corrupt system. Brian Kemp is of the devil, too. Don't let nobody fool you. Brian Kemp is of the devil. I don't give a damn about his wife and his, his daughters. That he, that's devil. They got, they, they're got they of the devil. Quit trying to pretend. These folks are charged upgrading rattling fence as a terrorist act. Walking inside the Capitol Hill, they're acting like you was trying to come up with sedition, conspiracy, obstruction of an official proceeding, conspiracy to obstruct Congress, throwing all this. This is kind of what they did with Enron. They're using that law right there. What they did with Enron was completely illegal. They manipulated and massaged the law. Now, when they want to convict somebody, they'll find anything to convict you. But when they want to let you off, like Hunter Biden was trying to give him a sweet deal, not only did they want to let him off the uh, off the hook for lying on the gun application, this crackhead lying on the gun application. Then they, what they want to do is make sure that he can't, he can't get charged even in the future. He didn't broke every law you can name. Act like they can. Then they trying to talk about gun control. Hell, the the Obama, I mean the the Biden administration. I was gonna say Obama, but about the same. The Biden administration left all of those weapons over in Afghanistan to terrorists. To child molesting terrorists, they left all those guns over there, and they did it on purpose, but they're against the gun. They want your gun taken, but let's give guns to the terrorists. Barack Obama was running, him and Eric Holder was running, letting guns be walked over to the notorious drug cartel of Mexico, but they want to take your gun. Pure evil. See, if you have that mindset, if you understand that they're pure evil, you'll stop the patty cake stuff thinking that you can be their friends because you can't. 